It's time for My Favorite Husband, starring Lucille Ball. Hello, everybody. Yes, it's the new gay family series starring Lucille Ball with Richard Denning. Brought to you by the Jell-O family of desserts. J-E-L-L-O The big red letters stand for the Jell-O family Oh, the big red letters stand for the Jell-O family That's Jell-O Yum, yum, yum Jell-O puddings Yum, yum, yum Jell-O tapioca puddings Yes, sir And now Lucille Ball with Richard Denning as Liz and George Cooper Two people who live together and like it. As we look in on the Coopers, we find Katie, the maid, serving Liz her breakfast. George is upstairs getting into his riding habit, as this is the day he meets with his weekly horseback riding club. More toast, Mrs. Cooper? No, thanks, Katie. It's none of my business, I guess, but Mr. Cooper goes horseback riding every week. Why don't you ever go with them? Well, it's a long story, Katie. Are you afraid of horses? Terrified. Oh, Katie, it's dreadful. I'm even afraid of a Charlie horse. (laughs) By Mrs. Cooper. Well, I have good reason. I took a terrible fall when I was a child. Did you get thrown? Oh, it was awful. The horse didn't know what he was doing. He was jumping up and down and racing around and around, and finally I fell off. Was it serious? Serious. They had to stop the merry-go-round. <laughs> Funny how those things stick to you from childhood. Morning, dear. Oh, good morning, George. Katie, I think I'll have time for a cup of coffee before I go. Now, I'll get it, Mr. Cooper. Let me look at you, George. Oh, oh, oh. Did anyone ever tell you that you look handsome in riding clothes? Oh, you think I do? No, I just wanted to know if anyone ever told you. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. <laughs> Ah, George, you really do look wonderful. And I love you so much, I'm going to drive you to the stables all by myself. Ah, well, thanks just the same, dear, but one of the club members is stopping by for me. Oh, which one of the fellows is it? Bill Curry? Mike Masterson? Uh, No, uh, Audrey Peters. Well, she's a nice fellow. (laughs) Well, uh, she's coming by so uh, we can talk on the way out. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, What about? Uh, Didn't I tell you? Uh, Audrey and I are co-chairman for the breakfast ride next weekend. No, you didn't tell me. What else haven't you told me? (laughs) Nothing. Uh, Well, what do you mean? I thought maybe you were getting saddles marked his and hers. (laughs) Why, Liz Cooper, you're jealous. Ha! I just don't see why you have to ride out with her. Why can't you talk business when you're on the horses? Oh, what difference does it make? Plenty. The horses can't run out of gas. <laughs> Liz, you're just being silly. Go ahead. Spend your Saturday mornings with Miss Musclebound. Yeah. I only wish you were more of the athletic type. <gasps> Why, George Cooper, you're sorry you married me. I am not. I didn't say that. You might just as well have. You you said you wish you were married to the athletic type. Oh, now, Liz. I can see the wedding now. The bride looked lovely in jodhpurs and a white lace sweatshirt. <laughs> now, stop that. Just before the wedding, her friends gave her a shower and a rubdown. <laughs> now, that's enough. Oh, gee, Liz, if, if only you weren't afraid of horses, we could have so much fun together. Well, I can't help it. Horses don't like me. Well, they just know you're afraid. You've got to treat a horse like a friend. Make him know you like him. What do you want me to do? Shake him by the hoof and offer him a cigar? <laughs> oh, what's the use? Well, that must be muscles. I mean, Audrey. I'll get the door. Do you have to leave right away, or can Audrey come in and have a glass of Absorbine Junior? <laughs> now, Liz, behave yourself. Oh, don't worry, dear. I'll be nice to the old... Hello, Audrey, dear. Hi, Audrey. George, darling. Hello, Liz. Audrey, I haven't seen you for such a long time. Pull up a ligament and sit down. <laughs> you, uh, you don't mind my stealing your husband away like this, do you, dear? Of course not. I can't think of anyone I'd rather trust him with. I envy you, Audrey. How do you keep your figure looking like that? So firm and solid. <laughs> Oh, no, dear. You're the one to be envied. You're so feminine and flabby. (laughs) 
Well, uh, we'd better get going, Audrey. Oh, why don't you go with us, Liz? Are you afraid of horses? No, dear, I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> It is too bad I won't get to see you ride, though. George says you look like part of the horse. <laughs> really? Uh, I was telling Liz what a wonderful rider you are. Uh, would you believe it, Liz? Audrey has been riding since she was a child, and she never lost her seat. Believe it, I can see it. <laughs> Yikes and away. What? He said yikes and away. It's a horse riding term. Well, goodbye, Liz. Goodbye, you yikes. <laughs> oh, George, don't let the old nag throw you. The one at the stable, I mean. <laughs> Katie. Come here a minute. Oh, what is it, Mrs. Cooper? Katie, you are looking at a woman who is going to learn to ride a horse. Morning. Good morning. I'd like to see some riding clothes, please. Oh, a habit? Not yet. I'm just starting. <laughs> I was referring to a riding habit. That's what we call the clothes you wear. Oh. Now, uh, what about the horse? Oh, I don't think he's going to wear anything. <laughs> I mean, what kind of a horse? But you wouldn't know. I'll just show you some English riding clothes. Uh, you take about a 12 coat and... Uh, how big are you around the withers? I mean the hips. I'm 36 inches around the withers and 7 inches around the fetlocks. Well, you don't have to get nasty. <laughs> Sorry. Now, here's a pair of the latest things in riding breeches. They have a built-in pillow. Something tells me you'll need those in the beginning. Something tells me I'll need them more at the end. <laughs> Very good. Uh, here's the coat. Now, uh, how about the hat? A nice derby is smart. Oh, no. A derby's too fancy for me. A silk hat, perhaps? Very popular at horse shows this year. No. This is just an early morning ride before breakfast. Well, then how about a kimono and curlers? <laughs> I do not find you very amusing. We can dispense with a hat. What else do I need? Uh, would you like to see some boots? No, I plan to ride barefoot. <laughs> you know, I believe it. Oh, show me some boots. Size six. Six? You'd better take a seven. Six. It's better to get them roomy. Six. Sometimes your feet swell. Six. You'll be happier with a seven. I want boots, not boats. <laughs> All right, but don't say I didn't warn you. Now, do you want to take these things with you? No, keep them here. I'll bring the horse down and ride him around the store. <laughs> Hello. Are you Mr. Lloyd? Yes, ma'am. Reckon I am. Most folks just call me little old Lloyd, though. <laughs> well, little old Lloyd... I'm Mrs. George Cooper. Oh, your husband's one of our best customers. There's nothing he likes better than the spirited filly. I know. <laughs> That's why I have to take riding lessons. Oh, lessons? Are you all just a beginner? Well, I guess you'd call me that. Uh, what kind of a horse do you all want? Do you like to gallop, trot, walk? Have you got one that crawls on its knees? <laughs> Don't worry, Miss Cooper. We got just the horse for you. Gulliver. Well, to tell the truth, Lloyd, I'm afraid of horses. Oh, ma'am, you don't have to worry about Gulliver. You can't fall off of him. He's so sway-backed, your feet touch the ground. Really? I swear. If you feel yourself falling, you just stand up and he walks right out from under you. Well, he sounds pretty good. Does he bite? Bite? Miss Cooper, you know you tell a horse's age by his teeth? Yes. Nobody can tell how old Gulliver is. No teeth? Not a one. He's even too weak to gum his oats anymore. Well, that's a seed for me. Wheel him out. Okay, boys. Trot Gulliver out. Here he comes. Speedy critter, isn't he? That's his gallop. Oh! <laughs> 
he's charging right at me. Now, Miss Cooper, surely you all aren't afraid of this animal, are you all? He all's a horse all, ain't he all? <laughs> well, I reckon he is. Stroke his nose and get friendly. Well, I... Oh, hello, Gulliver. <laughs> <Whoa! laughs> huh? 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 <laughs> Would you, would you like to get up on him, Miss Cooper? Well, I guess I might as well. I'll help you. No, thanks. I can get on by myself, at least. But, Miss Cooper... Any fool can get on a horse. There. Lloyd! What happened to his head? You get on backwards, Miss Cooper. <laughs> oh, well, what do I do now? Well, if you like, you can leap up in the air and I'll turn him around underneath you. <laughs> oh, thanks. I can... Manage, I guess. There. That's better. Well, you're facing the right way, but your legs shouldn't both be on the same side of the horse. Oh. Giddy up, Gulliver. Giddy up, Gulliver. <laughs> Doggone, he's asleep again. <laughs> come on, boy. We gotta teach this lady how to ride. Uh, come on, boy. <laughs> Here we go. Now, see if you can walk him once around the ring without falling off. Good morning, Lloyd. Here I am, ready for my next lesson. Morning, Miss Cooper. You know, the strangest thing's going on around here. What? Well, Gulliver's been acting mopey and sick ever since you left the other day. But the minute you come in sight just now, he got frisky as a colt. I think he's got a crush on you. Oh, what are you talking about? I mean it. Look at the way he looks at you. <laughs> Gosh, I haven't seen a look like that since the first time George saw me in a bathing suit. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'm flattered, Gulliver, but it's a May and December affair. I'm too young for you. See, look at my teeth. <laughs> oh, well, don't take it so hard. I'll be a big sister to you. All right, Miss Cooper, up you go. Now, let's see, this is your second lesson, isn't it? Third. Tell me honestly, Lloyd, how am I doing? Real good. You're making progress. Really? Tell you what I want you to do today. What? See if you can walk him once around the ring without falling off. <laughs> Morning, Miss Cooper. How's Gulliver? Bad, bad. He won't eat when you're not here. Won't oh. even stay in the stall. Just sets out in the corral and whinnies at the moon. Ah, oh, the poor old fella. Yeah, no kidding, Miss Cooper. This romance is costing me money. Gulliver won't let anybody ride him but you. That's what I like, loyalty. Well, this is my sixth lesson, Lloyd, the last one in the course. What are you going to teach me today? Well, seeing as it's the last lesson, see if you can walk him once around the ring without falling off. <laughs> Here I am, all ready for my twelfth lesson. Good. Now, today, Miss Cooper, I want you... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what you're going to say. I'll have you know I just got through walking once around the ring. Well, good for you. Now bring out Gulliver and I'll try it with a horse. <laughs> oh, Katie, I'm so excited. I wish Audrey would call for George and get him out of here. Why are you so anxious to send him on that breakfast ride with another woman? Because I'm going along, too. You are? Yes, it's a big surprise. I've had 15 lessons, and Lloyd said I ride well enough to go. He said that I have exceptional talent. Did he really say that? Well, not in those words, but he said he never hopes to see another person who rides like I do. <laughs> I wonder how he meant that. When are you going to tell Mr. Cooper? I'm not. I'm going to wait till they're having breakfast out in the country, and then I'll make a grand entrance and come galloping into the crowd. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Here he comes. Well, Liz, I'm off. Oh, I wish I were going with you, darling. Well, so do I, but you're such a scaredy cat. <laughs> oh, there's Audrey. I better go. Yes, she mustn't keep her broomstick running. <laughs> Never mind. Give me a kiss. All right. <laughs> there. Now go on, go to your breakfast, right? 
Do I have to? <laughs> well, goodbye, dear. Well, George is out on a breakfast ride with his horseback riding club. And Liz, to surprise him, has secretly learned to ride and is going to make a grand entrance by galloping up to the group as they're eating breakfast. She and her instructor are approaching the spot now. My, it's been a lovely ride out here, Lloyd. Mighty pretty country. Well, I think we're close enough. I'll ride the rest of the way by myself. Let's get out of the car and let Gulliver out of the trailer. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I think you can make it from here. They're having breakfast about a half mile down that road. Well, I'm glad it isn't any further than that. I could never have ridden ten miles like the rest of the group. You and Gulliver both. Come on, boy. Open those big blue eyes and get ready to tote this lady to her destination. Well, here goes. Oh, I can hardly wait to see George's face when I ride in. <laughs> Good luck, Miss Cooper. <laughs> Thanks. Goodbye, Lloyd. Hi-ho, Gulliver! Gulliver, hi-ho. <laughs> Well, what happened? I'll give him a nudge. Hang on tight now. I am. <laughs> that safety pin makes him move every time. Nice work, Gulliver. We made it. They should be right around this bend. Hi, everybody. Here I am. <laughs> Oh. Looking for somebody, lady? Where is everyone? Nobody here but us chipmunks. <laughs> but I thought the breakfast ride was supposed oh, to... Oh, them riders. There was here, but it was such a pretty day, they decided to go on another ten miles to Hickory Falls. They didn't. Okay, they didn't. Now I don't know where they went. <laughs> mean I've got to ride ten miles to catch up with them? The next ten won't be no tougher on you than the ten you already come. That's what you think. Beautiful country, uphill all the way. Oh, well, come on, Gulliver, let's travel. <laughs> oh, oh, we're finally here, Gulliver. I can't go another step. Get off in that horse. What? I said don't get off in that horse. What'll happen if and I get off in it? <laughs> Same thing happened to them right it was by here a while ago. Oh, now don't tell me they're not here either. Well, they was here, but I chased them off. Oh. I heard them say they was going to have breakfast up on the hill at uh, Buzzard's Roost. Why couldn't they have eaten here? They was trespassing on my property. I find the kitten caboodle ten dollars a piece. Ha <laughs> ha! Ten dollars a piece. Yes, oh, oh, that's wonderful. It serves them right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it sure does. <laughs> Ten dollars, please. <laughs> now, wait a minute. You don't have any signs up. That's not fair. I know. But sakes alive, how the money rolls in. <laughs> oh, here. I haven't got the strength to argue. Come on, Gulliver. Let's go. On to Buzzard's Roost. <laughs> Oh, Gulliver, oh, oh, I think we're lost. Oh, there's a farmer. Hey, mister, where am I? Same place you was this morning, lady. Oh, no, not right back where I started from. Yes? And I could have sworn someone rang the bell. I'm down here, Katie. <laughs> Mrs. Cooper, what are you doing on your hands and knees? They're the only part of me that's not blistered. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Let me help you in. Oh. 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 Oh, come over here and sit down. All right. Oh! Oh, I think I'll stand. Well, what happened? Oh, Katie, what a wild ride. I felt like Paul Revere. Come to think of it, we probably had the same horse. <laughs> What did Mr. Cooper say when you rode in? Katie, I never caught up with him. 
Oh, Mrs. Cooper. Pull these boots off for me, will you? Oh, yes, ma'am. Give me your foot. <coughs> What's the matter? But it won't come off. Well, pull harder. <coughs> oh, Mrs. Cooper, I think your feet are swollen. I can't get your boots off at all. But I have to get them off. It's no use, Mrs. Cooper. I can't even budge them. Well, what about my feet? Maybe I could cut them off with a knife. Katie! <laughs> I meant the boots. Oh. I think there's some special trick to getting riding boots off. Now, why don't you go down to the store and get the salesman to help you? Oh, I guess I'll have to. Oh, and Katie, if I don't come back, tell George I died with my boots on. <laughs> Well, Mrs. Cooper, good to see you again. How are the boots? I can't get them off. Well, I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. All right, I was wrong. I admit it. I told you so. I told you so. <laughs> Do you think you could stop gloating long enough to help me get my boots off? All right. Just sit down there and I'll take care of it right away. Don't be too sure. Oh, it's all in knowing how, Mrs. Cooper. I'll have them off in the twinkling of an eye. Hmm? Hmm. Twinkle, twinkle, little eye. How I wonder... Never mind. I'll get these boots off. No boots are going to make a fool out of me. Wait a minute. My knee doesn't bend upward. I know what we'll do. I'll turn my back on you. Well, that ought to fix everything. I will turn my back and grasp one boot with my hands between my knees. You take your other boot and push on my back. Then I take the ball and run around left end for a touchdown. Do you want these boots off or not? Well, must we do it right here in front of the window? Yes. Now give me your foot. Now I'll pull and you push. Okay. <laughs> Do you now have one of my boots? Would you like to try for two? Are you all right? Say something! <laughs> Is that you, Mrs. Cooper? Yes, Katie. Did you get the boots off? Yes, look how swollen my feet are. My legs look like two thermometers. Is Mr. Cooper home yet? No. That's funny. I wonder what's keeping him so late. Maybe Miss Biceps threw a shoe. <laughs> and I'll get you a pan of hot water for your feet. Thank you, Katie. Hi, honey. Hello, George. Boy, what a day this has been. Oh, Amen. What took you so long? Well, I, I would have been home sooner, but I had to take Audrey to the doctor's. A horse threw her. Well, the great Audrey got thrown. Yeah, the funny part of it was she just got on him for a gag. Some old broken-down horse with a sway back and... Oh, all... no! Oh, no! <laughs> His name wasn't Gulliver. How did you know? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I'll have to send over a nice bouquet of flowers. Oh, Audrey will appreciate that. Who said anything about Audrey? I'm going to send him for the horse. You have been listening to My Favorite Husband, starring Lucille Ball with Richard Denning, and based on characters created by Isabel Scott Rorick. Tonight's program was produced and directed by Jess Oppenheimer, who wrote the script with Madeline Pugh and Bob Carroll, Jr. Original music was composed by Marlon Skiles and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. The part of Katie the Maid was played by Ruth Parrott. Lucille Ball will soon be seen in the Paramount picture, Sorrowful Jones. Be sure to listen to Lucille Ball and My Favorite Husband next week. Bob Lamont speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.